Salutations, my friends. Hello, my name is Maria. This is Love, Pray, Paint. And today we are going to be discussing my top 10 favorite YouTube art influencers. So what I'm going to be doing is counting down from 10 to one of my top 10 favorite art influencers. And I will also have all of their channels linked below so you can find them easily. The reason I decided to make this video is so that you can find really good um, art instructors or just art videos. The YouTube community is flooded with art instructors and art videos. Um, these are all going to be uh, mainly acrylic painting channels so if that's what you're looking for you are in the right place um it's really hard to weed through everybody on youtube it's it's just there are so many wonderful channels and so many different instructors and i think that is really awesome and i love that there you know are so many and our art community is growing bigger and bigger and bigger um i would love if youtube would make us our own kind of section like an art or creative section so it would be easier to find these channels sometimes it, it's a little hard to find some of the channels um, but that's why I'm making this video so that you can easily navigate and find really great instructors from you know instructors that do video tutorials for beginners or if you want to just watch like a speed uh, time lapse painting or if you are an advanced painter and you want to find a channel that caters a little bit more to someone who's a little more advanced. Um, so these are going to be uh, just counting down from 10 to 1 like I said. I would love it if you could uh, like this video that really helps me out and um, YouTube will share my video and that way more people can know about these channels and my channel as well. And also, please, if you like these kind of videos, just subscribe to my channel. I make all sorts of different types of videos on painting and art. Um, I like to keep it fresh and fun and light and I do tutorials sometimes. Sometimes I do other people's tutorials. Sometimes I do reviews of, you know, brushes and paint and Sometimes I do shopping hauls, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, please subscribe. Starting um, next week, I will be doing a video every single Wednesday and every single Saturday. Um, it'll vary on what kind of video it is. I try to probably do most of my tutorials for Saturdays if you're interested in that, or if you like kind of just fun light videos, those will be out on Wednesdays. That's how I think the schedule is going to go. Um, and I also do artist therapy, so some Wednesdays might be artist therapy videos. So uh, just hit the notification bell so you can be notified every Wednesday and Saturday when my new videos are up. So that will be helpful for you so you know when to watch and you know when they're out. And yes, I guess we can kind of get into the video now and I can stop ranting. Hey, yeah. My top 10 favorite YouTube art instructors are in the number 10 spot. It is Paint in Pino in Perth. She really likes the letter P. Um, but the reason I chose her is I just found her pretty recently within like the last couple of months. I subscribed to her channel. She blew me away with her knowledge and her tips that she shares. That is the reason I love her channel. She mixes a little bit of like adventure travel in with her painting and I think that is so fantastic and I love that sort of um, juxtaposition of things. So um, people who love travel, if you're watching this, um, she has like, some of her videos have like a small section where she goes and visits the actual place where that she's going to paint and then she does like the painting after she visited. I thought that was a very clever idea. And another thing that I love about her channel, she she doesn't necessarily have like the biggest um, subscriber base yet, but I really believe that she her channel will explode. I just mark my words, I for some reason, I have this thing where I can kind of tell like, 
not just like through their editing or just like their personality, I can usually kind of spot channels that I think that, you know, are probably going to do quite well. And I think her channel it eventually will do pretty well because one, her knowledge is fantastic. It's out of this world. She knows so many great tips. So if you're like a beginning painter and you need some really good, just like basic tips, she shares them in pretty much every video. So I love that about her. I love her personality. She's very outgoing. She's charismatic. And I, I just like, you know, the way she kind of comes across on her videos. I also love her editing. And then the space that she um, records in is, is like looks very professional. Her videos look very professional. Like she put a lot of time and effort into editing and learning how to edit and the lighting's really good and her space is really good. It just looks very polished. Her videos just look very polished and I just really respect her editing style and uh, I'm not sure what she uses for equipment or what she records on or what she edits her videos on, but she does a really great job and I think you guys should check her out. Okay, and our number nine spot is Tanya Shatsiva. I'm pretty sure I'm saying her name wrong. She is an artist out of Russia who also um, makes YouTube videos. She does not do tutorials, not that I've seen on her channel, but um, the reason I picked her, most of these are gonna be like tutorial channels, but the reason I picked her is because of her originality. She is so fantastic. I love her paintings. Like if I was gonna hang a painting in my house, I would buy one of hers. She has this like really cool surrealism style that I just love. I love everything about it. Um, it's just really different and really original and like I don't really see anybody else's art that's anything like hers. Um, and her videos are also, this is the reason I put her on this list, is because her videos aren't just like a traditional like time lapse video. She shows like different shots of stuff and they're edited like in such a cool way that I just find so interesting and I could like just binge watch all of her videos because they're just so fantastic and so thoughtful. She's put so much thought into the editing process and so much creativity. There's no, there literally is no other art channel like hers that has this very cool, almost like, like almost like an indie film or a, an art film, you know, like those old like art films like that, like maybe like a Andy Warhol like used to make. It's almost got this weird kind of vibe that she's very, I mean, she's almost, not that she's gothic, but she's very, um, I don't know how to explain it, like not dark, but she just kind of has it sort of like vibe about her that really like alternative kind of cool, like, like punk rock or like punk rock artist. I mean, she's not a punk, I don't know how to explain it, but she's just very cool in my eyes. And if you like that sort of thing, if you like somebody who's really creative and different and original, you would really enjoy watching her videos. So I highly recommend her channel. And I'm pretty sure I butchered her name, so I'll make sure I write it on the screen. <laughs> okay, in our number seven spot, it's Kate Jobling. I love her channel. It is, it is got a very um, clean aesthetic. Everything that she does and shoots and even her editing style down to her paintings all kind of cohesively fit together. She has a a really overall like um, clean aesthetic. Everything just sort of fits together. And, and her whole like thing is just very soothing. Her paintings are usually like cool tones and she does a lot of um, seascapes. I did follow um, one of her tutorials in one of my videos. I can link that video below if you're interested in seeing that. Um, it didn't turn out as good as hers, but it was really fun making it. Uh, I just really love her character. She's very charming. She just has this sort of charismatic charm about her that I think a lot of people um, would probably like. She does have a large fan base already. Not like my video here is going to send a bunch of people her way. <laughs> I mean, that's not the point of the video. It's just so people who are looking for other art channels can find them. 
Um, you could probably find her channel very easily. I will link it below. However, um, she does have some full tutorials. She doesn't have a, well, I'd say she has a pretty good amount. Um, she, I think she does oil um, painting as well, but she does have some full um, acrylic painting tutorials. I'm not sure, they're, they're pretty good for like beginner. Um, if you're a beginner at something, she does a really good job of uh, simple instructions and it's pretty easy to follow. I'm not sure that they're all like real time. Um, I don't think they are because I just, I mean, I know she is a really fast painter, but I think some of them, they're probably like mine where they're kind of a mix of real time and not <laughs> real time. I have her channel linked down below. In our number six spot, I have Amanda, the buzzed artist. She is fantastic. She is funny and all sorts of fun. If you are in a schlumpy mood and you need to bring some joy to your life and have fun and laugh, she's definitely the person to check out. She does do art tutorials. She does a couple of different kinds of um, videos. But the main ones that I catch are her pop art art tutorials that I think are so fun and her art is so interesting. I some of her art is even pretty funny. I mean, she's such a she's like such a quirky person that um, I feel like I would be like her BFF in real life. <laughs> like I feel like we could like hang out and have a lot of fun together and have a lot in common. So she does do tutorials and if you kind of want to have fun, if you're, I mean, I think you can pretty much be a beginner and follow her uh, art tutorials. She is just kind of fun and lighthearted and, you know, not so um, serious. And that's usually kind of channel that I like to watch is something that's a little more lighthearted and not, you know, when you're, when you, painting you want to be relaxed you want to have a good time you do it to get stuff off your mind a lot of the time and you don't necessarily want to like feel frustrated um and i think her channel's a really great channel for that kind of painting so her channel's linked down below <laughs> our number five position we have ginger cook this is one of the first channel uh painting channels that i subscribe to she has so many tutorials, like anything you're looking for, you could find on her channel. She is probably the most knowledgeable um, as like art techniques and maybe even schooling. She is incredibly intelligent, is a really fun character. Uh, she has usually live tutorials, but she does post the videos after so you can watch the past lives if you miss the live. Um, and she's just a fantastic instructor. She has like um, paintings for beginners up until very advanced painting. I think that she makes it really easy to follow. And the thing that I love about her the most is that she's a storyteller. So when you're watching her videos or her live videos, she will she will like throw in just random stories about her life in there. And I find her so interesting. Like even if she didn't do art videos, this is somebody that I probably watch just to listen to her stories. So I will link her channel, Ginger Cook, I will link her channel below. And if you're interested in that kind of thing, um, Definitely check her out. In our number four spot, I have Angela Anderson. She um, she was also one of the first people that I subscribed to when I started painting. I pretty much learned a lot of the techniques and the things that I have learned from her channel and Ginger Cook and then somebody else's that I haven't mentioned yet. Um, Anyway, I've been following her for like a few years. I really think she is an amazing instructor, but um, her channel is like all about the painting. She is a really good teacher, but not only that, she is an amazing artist. She has so many different kinds of paintings on her channel and she does do live painting tutorials in acrylic. She might have a couple different mediums, but I'm pretty sure most of the stuff she does is in acrylic and they are real time live um, tutorial. It breaks things down in a really easy to understand way. Um, 
most people that are beginning, and I, I mean, she does have some beginner and some intermediate and advanced. I think it's kind of a, a good range of uh, painting tutorials on her channel. But she's just so good for somebody who is starting out. I think she has a fantastic way of explaining things that are really easy to follow. She doesn't go too fast. Um, I just really enjoy, like when I used to follow a lot of tutorials, I just always enjoyed following hers. She just made it so, not effortless, but just easier than I found like when I would do other people's tutorials. Her, it's She's a very good instructor. So um, if you are maybe like a beginner or even if you're advanced, uh, check her channel out. She, like I said, does live tutorials and is just a fantastic instructor. So that's linked below. Okay, in our number three spot, we have Chuck Black. His channel is, um, I think, a mix of oil and um, acrylic. He does some time lapse, some full tutorials, some like half because he has a Patreon. So he'll do like half the tutorial, and then if you want the full tutorial, you have to go to his Patreon, which uh, is smart, you know. Um, but I'm too. <laughs> I wish I could support him, but. I, you know what I mean, I have to support myself. Anyway, <laughs> so um, he does a lot of that, but he does have full tutorials. He is a, a really, really wonderful painter, and not that beginners can't follow his tutorials. I mean, you can, but he, he's such an advanced painter himself that I think a lot of the um, tutorials he has on his page, um, people who are more advanced in painting would really enjoy. Um, and he does a lot of like landscape and nature um, paintings, you know, naturescape paintings. I think he, I just love his art in general and I think he is a really good instructor. And he has a really good personality, I like his personality. He has a very soothing presence and a soothing voice, almost like, almost kind of like Bob Rossi in a way. I mean, he really enjoys you know, nature and kind of shows that. It's it's weird, he kind of feels like somebody that I know, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes when you watch somebody's channel, you feel like, oh, like they're like the kid down the street that I grew up with. Like something is very familiar um, to me about him. I don't know, maybe he is like, just from being from the Midwest, I mean, I'm from Minnesota, so maybe he is like, maybe he grew up around here, I don't know. Um, a lot of his paintings kind of look like they'd be from like Wisconsin or Minnesota. A lot of them are like kind of like Wyoming or Montana with like mountains, but some of them kind of look like they were from around where I live. <laughs> anyway, um, I just really uh, enjoy his painting style and his techniques and find his, even though I feel like he's a little bit more advanced, um, I feel like you know, somebody could easily follow him because he's he is a good instructor. Um, it's just that he's just such a fantastic he's just a, such a fantastic artist that I would feel intimidated to follow one of his tutorials. I mean, not that I couldn't, and I wait for that video because that is actually coming up. I have that planned. Um, anyway, so just his channel is linked below. I hope that you go and visit it and look at his beautiful art and hopefully follow some of his tutorials because he just has some really great videos on there. Okay, and our number two position is Allison Pryor. The reason she is so high up on my list is how she puts her videos out one and how she teaches is the second thing. She doesn't just have like four hour long video. She puts them out in like smaller videos, like 20 minute sessions where it would be very obtainable for you to finish one of her paintings and you say like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'm gonna take these 20 minutes and I'm gonna finish this painting instead of trying to do everything all at once. Sometimes that can be very overwhelming and frustrating. And I think sometimes working on something little by little, actually you can result in a better painting because you're just such a fresh, frame of mind. A lot of the time when I am doing a painting, like not for my channel, if I'm doing a painting on my own, I'll, you know, I'll take a couple days, like I'll say I'm going to paint 
a little bit this day or I'll break it up in between the day. I'll paint for 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there and take breaks in between because it lets your mind kind of relax, your hands relax and you don't get as frustrated as easily. Well, at least I don't. Anyway, um, so I really love that about her channel. I love that it's in like smaller doses. And I also, I mean, I, not that I, I love her personality, I do. She's a very kind person. And she goes out of her way to help other artists, which I think is so fantastic. That's, that's part of the reason that she's so high up on my list is that she makes it a priority to help other artists. I think that is something that a lot of people, not just artists, but in the YouTube community are lacking is that they look at everybody as maybe like their competition. They look at people as their competition instead of like banding together and creating a stronger community. But, but what she does is that she like goes out of her way to help people. And that's just so important to have people like that and have mentors around that you can look up to and if you have a question you can ask her she'll answer you she is just really um just goes out of her way to you know be kind and helpful and i just find that so admirable and i mean i love she's a great instructor one she's a wonderful teacher but when somebody just has that thing about their personality where they want to go out of their way to help people i just find that um, really encouraging, really kind, and that's the kind of person that I want to support because that's the type of person I am. I want to go out of my way to help other people. That's just how I've always been, that's how I'll always be, and that's just what I'm always going to do. <laughs> so when people are like me in that way, I want to celebrate them. So Allison, two thumbs up for your channel, you're an awesome person, and I have her channel linked below, so please go visit it. It's fantastic. She also has a Patreon as well. So um, since she supports so many other people, I think it'd be really kind for people to try and support her as well. Anyway, let's move on to our number one spot. And I'm sure people who watch my channel probably already know who I'm gonna say. Um, so the number one spot um, on my countdown is Cinnamon Cooney, the art Sherpa. I love her channel. She was the very first painting channel I ever subscribed to. She is so funny, so fun, um, so much heart. Uh, and I just love her character. I love, she also goes out of her way to help people and I think that is so kind. Um, and her, watching her, you don't even have to be a painter to watch her live painting tutorials. That's what she does. She mainly has live um, acrylic painting tutorials in real time, which I think is fantastic. Uh, she's such a hard worker. She does them pretty much every single day of the week. And she also does like IGTV. Um, Angela Anderson and Ginger Cook also do that same type of thing where they work constantly. Alison Pryor also, she has videos like almost every day. I think that is such a hard thing to accomplish. I mean. It, if I only had the time, I would love to do that. I'm sure eventually someday I will. So she has such a cool style as well. She has lots of bright colors. She has a huge array of tutorials, so many tutorials. She has so many different painting tutorials. Whatever you're looking for, you can find it on her channel. Um, she has like from beginner and she has to a very advanced. And the cool thing, about um, Cinnamon's channel is that she has everything kind of categorized into um, different levels. And it's funny, I wanted to do that so bad, but I, I just feel like, I guess I could still do it, but then I feel like I was copying her. But she has it categorized into like one hoot, two hoot, and like three hoots. I think like she has like a little owl for her character or whatever, I think that's the deal with the hoot thing. Um, she's such a hoot. <laughs> oh my god. Why am I doing dad jokes right now? That was not funny. That's embarrassing. Um, but really, I like as much as I, I love her tutorials and anybody, even like I said, even if you don't paint, you could sit down and watch one of her videos and have an awesome time because she just has such a charismatic personality that you're like, oh gosh, this girl would definitely be my best friend. 
we would like hang out every day we would just have so much fun together that's like the kind of person she is but she also has another side to her not just fun she also has a really caring um compassionate side and she does these like little wishes at the beginning of her um every single tutorial where people will write kind of like what you know they want healing or like prayers or good energy you know for and she'll write it out on the canvas so then it's like sealed into the canvas and it's just i almost every single time i'm not kidding every single time i watch one of her tutorials i cry at that part it's embarrassing but it's true i will start shedding a tear and like oh they're going through a hard time like <laughs> you know what i mean it's just so sweet and so kind and i really respect her for that and not only that um just the fact that she just helped me so much my myself and my channel um that the video, I followed one of her video tutorials and she actually shared it on her channel and one of her um, playlists. And I just thought that, I mean, like that was like the kindest thing. I, she has so many subscribers for her to like care that much to like help somebody who has like not even a quarter. Okay, so my video cut out at the very end of this. I'm not sure what happened or why it cut out, but I just wanted to close up the video and finish um, saying what I was saying, that um, I just found it so kind and so sweet that she helped somebody that doesn't even have, like I was saying, like a quarter of the size. I mean, I have like 1% of what she has, and she cared a enough about a smaller YouTube channel that she put it on her playlist on her own channel and I just thought that was so sweet and so kind um, and I will always show her gratitude no matter where I get and my point of sharing her channel isn't just to say thank you to her I truly believe in her and she does have a, a large subscriber base um, but she deserves so many more. She deserves more than a million. I mean, she should have more than a million subscribers. So if you're watching this, I really hope you can take the time to go subscribe to her channel um, and just go show her some support because she truly deserves it and she's so talented that and, and such a hard worker. I just hope that you know you guys can go go over and support her and support everybody else on this list as well because they are all deserving um but um yeah thanks for watching the video and i'm sorry that my feed cut out i just um wanted to say thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you can find some new art channels that will inspire you lift you up help you learn how to paint and that you will enjoy. So once again, thank you and I will be seeing you next time. Bye. And I keep repeating myself. So hopefully this won't be too hard to edit because it's crazy. Why am I telling you that? You don't care. Oh, God. Pino. Pino Noir. They did Pino and Fur. Fur la 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 I don't know why I'm making these weird noises. It's like so high up on my list.